Hi guys, I know that starting a brand new sketchbook can be both exciting and intimidating. So I'm here to give you some tips that help me and I hope they can help you too. After almost 10 years without drawing, I didn't really know where to start. I didn't even know if I remembered how to draw. And I didn't want it to ruin an expensive sketchbook. So what I did was that I bought the most inexpensive sketchbook I could find. I felt like a beginner. I didn't know where my skills were at that point. So this allowed me to feel free to try whatever I wanted and get rid of the fear of messing up a precious sketchbook. If you are a beginner, don't focus on how other people's sketchbook looks like. You cannot compare your beginning with someone's middle. The most important thing is just to start. Everyone is on their own journey, so don't compare yourself to others. Just do your own thing, go at your own pace. If the first blank page of your sketchbook really scares you, you can just start on the second or third page. There are no rules. It's your sketchbook, you can do whatever you want. Sketchbooks are mainly for practice to improve your skills. So you don't have to show your sketchbook to anybody if you don't want to. Another option is you can write some motivation quotes on the first page or you can write down the date or your goals. You don't have to do a finished drawing on the first page. I'm gonna show you the cheap sketchbooks that I used when I started drawing again. As you can see, just some studies, nothing special, a cheap paper, just a, a simple notebook. Here's another one, a smaller one, but I tried some ink pens, um, some doodles, some pages with nothing on, <laughs> nothing special. Here's an old sketchbook, I, I ripped some pages off and I just reused it. I did some that with some old sketchbooks when I didn't want to buy a new one. This is another one. Also an old one that I reused and start drawing on the back pages. This sketchbook that you see me using throughout the video, I'm planning on using it more for practice, uh, studying human figure, different ways of drawing faces, anatomy studies, gesture drawing, and so on. I have another one that I use mostly for finished paintings, finished pieces. Uh, especially paintings in gouache but if you feel a bit a bit lost and you don't know what to draw you can always follow a tutorial from uh, YouTube a drawing or painting tutorial to help you out you can also set a goal to your sketchbook like for example improving on a specific skill or trying a different medium you can also use prompts 
prompts are great to develop your creativity and try new things. I'm going to try to leave a prompts um, site. I'm going to try to leave the link. nice quote a master artist is a beginner who kept speaking so remember that don't give up just keep going and thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope to see you in the next one bye